Hey Scribblers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Greg Guntanis, author of the Lance Gedrin Mystery Series, available on Amazon in ebook and paperback. I release a lot of writing and publishing related content on my channel, so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. All right, in today's video, I decided to do a demo on how to create a sign-up form for your author website using MailerLite. So up until this video, I have been using MailChimp for about a couple years, and I really wanted something that was a little bit more intuitive, a little bit easier to use, and a little bit sleeker. And I tried out MailerLite, and I really liked the the platform and I've switched and I'm very happy that I did so I'm going to walk all of you through how to create a sign-up form for your author website and basically how to build some of your uh, mailing list because one of the good ways to get subscribers is to have a sign-up form on your website that way when readers stumble across your site and they're interested in getting the latest news or the latest updates on your writing, they can just fill out that form and they will be added to your list. So here I'm in MailerLite and as far as um, what plan I have, I do have the free plan and as of this video, if you are curious about the free plan, it is free up to 1,000 subscribers and 12,000 emails a month. And if you go over that, then obviously you would have to uh, start paying some of their subscription plans. So right now I am still on the free uh, plan. I'm building my list little by little. And eventually I probably am going to have to upgrade and get a different plan. But for right now, I'm still on the free plan and I'm happy with the interface and how to use it. So that's that. And now let's create a sign up form. So whenever you are in your MailerLite dashboard, you're going to see these different tabs up here, campaigns, subscribers, forms, sites, and automations. And when you click on forms, you're brought here to pop-ups, embedded forms, or promotions. Now pop-ups are another way to gain subscribers for your mailing list. And basically what that means is when, when readers go to your website, something pops up on, your, on their screen asking them to sign up and then they can do so if they want. I have not created a pop-up for my author website. I find pop-ups to be a little bit annoying, distracting to people on websites. Um, so that's why I haven't gone with a pop-up. Instead, I've gone with a sign-up form. Of course, you can do whatever you feel is best for your author brand, but for me, I wanted to do a sign-up form. So that's what this video will be about. So if we want to do a sign-up form, basically, we would go to create an embedded form, and you're going to name your form. This is just for internal use. It's not the name that... Uh, readers will see whenever they click on your form. So here, for purposes of this example, we can name it Sample Website Form. Save and continue. Then we are brought to a page about groups. Now groups essentially for MailerLite are different ways to divvy up your mailing list, different ways to tag your mailing list. So for example, if you have people signing up from your book or from Book Funnel or from Facebook or from your website, you can actually split your mailing list into groups and you can send separate campaigns to each group you can exclude certain groups. Maybe they're not active. Maybe they haven't opened your emails um, and so on and so forth. But for purposes of the signup form that you are creating, you need to link your signup form to a particular group. 
or a series of groups. That way, when somebody signs up, then automatically they will be tagged into a particular group. You will know where they are coming from. And then once you know that, then you can set up automations and welcome sequences for your new subscribers and so on and so forth. And I will do a separate video on that, on automations. So check out uh, that video in the link at the very end of this video. So for purposes of this, we're going to just create a new group. Let's, let's call it the sample website form group. We're going to create it. And then we are going to go ahead and click it, save and continue. And that's basically telling MailerLite anybody that signs up for our form, through our form rather, they will be tagged into this sample website group. Now, once that is saved, you're brought to the drag and drop builder, and this is where you actually design your newsletter. So you can play around with it, edit it how you see fit, and I'm just going to mess around with it a little bit for purposes of this demo. save that block. Here for your email you can add additional fields, you can rotate the order. Here for the subscribe field you can change it if you like or you can keep it at subscribe. You can just mess around with it as you see fit. You can change the backgrounds, the content, the inputs, and you can also if you click here on success message, you can change the message that people get when they successfully sign up. It's important that people know when they successfully sign up. That way they don't either unsubscribe or put in their info 10 times thinking they haven't signed up. And then that creates a little bit of chaos on your, on your list. So here we could just say... whatever we want just to make them aware that they've signed up and obviously if it's a sign up form for our website we do want to attract the reader so one of the ways to do that would be to create a reader magnet maybe it's a short story maybe it's uh, the first book in the series or a novella something that would entice the reader to sign up to your list and get updates from you so that's something that sort of goes hand in hand with this sign up form. You do want to give readers something of value in return. Otherwise, the reality is you're not going to have a lot of readers willing to sign up for your list. So here you can mess around with it as you see fit. You can preview it up here in the upper tab. And for some reason, when you do the preview, it comes up as the HTML code. However, if you go up here and you copy this actual web address and paste it, you can see how the newsletter would look. And then we exit out and we click Next. And just like that, the sign-in form is created. You are brought to this page, and you'll notice it says double opt-in. Now, double opt-in, what that means is when a reader signs up to your list through the sign-up form, they will be sent another email confirming if they want to sign up for the list. Some people like keeping this on to prevent bots 
from sort of skewing the list. Other people like to keep it off and just not create another barrier for readers to sign up for the list. Me personally, I don't have double opt-in enabled. I want people to just sign up for my list and not have to go through more hoops to get on, but obviously everybody can have their personal preference. And then here in design, you can preview it here as well. And you'll notice it's linked to the sample website group that we created earlier. And then how do we get this sign up form to our actual website? Where, well, that is going to be through the code. And you'll see here there are instructions how to embed this actual code into your website. It gives you instructions how to do that. Now, I am not a web designer. I don't pretend to be a web designer. So I have an actual web designer that has uh, made my author website. So all I had to do here was just send the link and then the web designer embedded the form. If you are savvy with web design or you know a little bit about HTML, then you can just follow these instructions to embed the code. And once that happens, then your form will be live on your site. Once people click that link, then they're going to be brought to the form that you create. Now, just as a so you can get an idea what the form could look like, if I go to forms, I have the form I've created for my author website, the Gedron Gab signup form. And if I preview it, this is how I set up my sign up form. So just using the same process that I went through in this video, I put a little image, a um, little headline here about joining the Gedron Readers Club. Gedron is the main character, of course, of my Lance Gedron mystery series. And I, you know, was straight into the point about how they get the reader magnet. They get the free prequel short story if they sign up. Their name, their email, and then the button. So it's very simple to create a sign-up form in MailerLite. I recommend that everybody does it if they haven't already created some kind of form on their website to attract readers. So there you have it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments for other scribblers out there, please leave them down below. I really like hearing from all of you, no matter where you are on your writing journey. If you made it all the way to the end of this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. It's a way for YouTube to see if my content is resonating with other writers out there. So I'll see all of you in the next video. And as always, keep scribbling.